Howdy folks, welcome to the course introduction for the new Microsoft MD-102 course. And as you guys can see, this new course is called Microsoft 365 Endpoint Administrator. Now I've said it just a moment ago and I'll say it again, this is just a course introduction. The first official module in this course will be the next video in the playlist. Now as for what this course will be about, the course overview if you will, well, folks, the MD-102 course is officially the replacement for the previous old MD-100 and the MD-101 courses. So the MD-100 was the Windows Client course, at least that was the last name it had before it got retired, and the MD-101 course was called Managing Modern Desktops. And if you did both of those courses and the associated exams, each of them had their own exam, you would ultimately earn the certificate. Now, Microsoft is retiring both of those courses and both of the exams and replacing them with this new MD-102 course and the MD-102 associate exam, of course. One course, one exam. My concern of this, though, is this one course and this one exam, for the most part, only covers the content that was in the previous MD-101 course. None of the content which was in the MD-100 course. So, both the MD-100 and MD-101 courses and their exams are being retired and replaced with the new MD-102 course and exam. The official Microsoft MD-102 course consists of 8 modules, folks. If you look at the MD-100, I think that was about 12 or 13 modules. If you look at the previous 101 course, that was about... I think it was nine modules, if I'm not mistaken. This one, on the other hand, is only eight modules. That's even bigger a problem, in my opinion, but we'll get to that. This video course of mine will start, obviously, from module one. That will be in the next video in the playlist, so keep your eyes tuned for that. Remember to subscribe, otherwise you might miss it. There will be a dedicated video for each of the eight modules of the MD-102, so I'll basically be doing the same thing as I did with the previous courses for you guys on my channel. Each module will have its own respective video, um, but that also means there's a bit of a warning here for you guys. That warning is, since we're covering a whole freaking module in a video, these videos will be long. Each video will be covering a whole module, so that means it'll be approximately about one hour long. Some of them might be shorter, I mean, it might be 30 minutes, 45 minutes, some of them might be an hour and a half long, you know, just to give you guys a bit of a ballpark idea, but expect them to be roughly about an hour long. So yeah, that's why I've given you guys timestamps. You can find that in each of these videos descriptions, not this intro video because there's nothing going on here yet, but from module one all the way to module eight, in the video description, you will find timestamps to make your life a little bit easier. There will be a list of topics covered in each module, which will also be listed in the video description. And next to each topic, you will find the timestamp. So if you're looking for a specific topic only, well, there you go. It's going to make your life very easy. Or if you'd like to go and revise on a topic, maybe you didn't understand it, or you just want to go and revise, well, there you go. It's going to make your life a heck of a lot easier. You're going to find it very quickly. It is recommended, guys. This is my own personal recommendation, not Microsoft's. But you guys go and do the old previous MD100 videos first. So go and go to my channel, go watch the videos from the previous MD100 course. Or, there's an or, at the very least, I want you guys to have the knowledge already that one would have gained from that course. Now, yes, we know the MD100 course is being retired. By the time you guys watch these videos, heck, the course might already have been retired. Now, why am I saying you should go and watch those videos? Because... The new MD-102 course does not prepare you. It does not have any of the content that you would previously have seen or learned in the MD-100 course. Previously, the MD-100 course would cover Windows from a client perspective. It'll show you how to install Windows, what is what in Windows, what to go and do and where to go and do it in Windows, which was perfect for newbies, people that's new in IT. I mean, we all start from there. And then eventually, when you have done that course, or if you already have the knowledge of that course, you would then proceed to the next one, which was the MD-101 course, and that was obviously the more advanced one. Now, this new Microsoft course, the MD-102 course, it's basically a clone of the previous MD-101 course. 
I kid you not, you can go and check me on this, the content is nearly identical to the MD101 course. Now, there is nothing from the MD100 course, though. There's no other course. There's no substitute or replacement for the previous MD100 course. And that's a bit of a problem. Because for anyone that's new in IT, that does not have the experience yet, how the heck will they know what the cheese is going on in the MD102 course? Normally, someone would have done some sort of other course first that basically prepares them. In this case, no, not so much. So where and how do we fill that gap? Well, from Microsoft, I don't know what the heck they've got in mind, but it seems like they don't have a plan of action here. So instead, from my side, to solve that problem for you guys, to fill the gap, I recommend you go to my channel, um, ignore the previous MD101 um, playlist, go look specifically for MD100 playlist. That playlist, I think, is called Windows Client. Go watch those videos first. That's for the people that don't have experience yet on Windows. If you have the experience, then by all means, skip that playlist and move straight to the MD102 playlist. Um, you'll find that the content is nearly identical, like I said. So if you really want, you can actually go and watch my previous videos from the MD101 course as well, if you're a bit in a hurry, because it covers pretty much the same stuff for the most part. All right, so who is this course intended for? The course audience, if you will. Well, it is intended for people that are, well, intending on writing the Microsoft exam, which is associated to this course. So that would be the MD-102 certification exam. It is intended for people who are looking to learn how to manage their devices in their work environments. You know, this is normally from a large perspective, not just one by one. You want to probably manage them in groups. People looking to learn how to manage large groups of devices, like I just said or people looking to learn how to manage remote devices because let's face it every freaking thing is becoming remote these days it's becoming virtual is moving into the cloud so it's very unlikely you'll find people just working in the office you know all companies to a certain extent are having people that are working from home or that are working remotely or in the cloud so yes this course is going to become very useful going forward Lastly, folks, this course is intended for people trying to troubleshoot a Windows device related issue. It's not 100 percent so, you know, for those people that would have actually been more the MD100 course, but apparently, according to Microsoft, it is still for those kinds of people. Well, folks, so that is the course introductory. I know it's a heck of a lot longer than my normal course introductories, but I had to make sure that you guys understand that the MD102 course does not cover the content from the previous MD100. So it's very, very important you realize that because that, in my opinion, is a prerequisite. You need to know that stuff from that course, or at the very least, you should have the knowledge that one would have gained in that course before you attempt the 102. Otherwise, you're going to have no idea what a trainer like myself is talking about, and that's just not cool. So guys, if you haven't done it already, remember to subscribe. Otherwise, you will not know when these modules go live. And if you enjoy this course or this introductory video, it's just a bunch of nonsense in my opinion, then feel free to give it a like. All right, folks, stay tuned for the modules of this course. I hope to see you guys on the course. Enjoy.